Good morning, I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farm. So today it did rain, which is what we wanted. So we we're putting straw in the pens because we haven't done this for a while. The good thing about the weather being dry is you don't need to use too much bedding because the bedding stays dry too. Plus they're out on pasture, but this barn has a lot of sheep in it. So um, we're going to just uh, put some old, it's actually hay, down for them. Just because it is a little mucky and they're not likely to go out today because it's raining. Katie. Come on, Max. Okay, so this uh, straw slash hay that we're using for bedding in this barn comes from, remember where the ewes had grazed off the field just to stalks and stuff and Arnie cut it down and it looked like there wasn't enough to bale, but there was enough to make a few bales. So it's mainly, mainly stalks and stuff. Plus they've really grazed it. It looks pretty nice for hay, but, uh, <laughs> but because they've, um, been grazing it and really pooping and stuff and it is a lot of stalks. We decided to use that paddock's hay as bedding just to get you uh, rid of it because we have so much good hay this year. Why would we feed them stuff where they could possibly get parasites from this because like I say they had grazed it quite down. So um, that's why we're using this. It should be really nice and soft for them anyway. But you see, they're sniffing at it. And if it's really nice, they'll eat it. But uh, nobody's really eating it. They're just sniffing at it. So that's making use of what you have. And the reason we do round bales for everything instead of square bales is because uh, we always just roll them out. That's what works easiest for us. Some people will drop uh, square bales and kind of let the sheep run through it or they'll fork it out. But this this basically covers the whole pen and uh, dry hay or just dry straw or whatever rolls out really easy. It's not too heavy and you don't have to fork out anything. People are going to mention that uh, limping you. We know she's limping. She's been limping for several weeks now. She's the one who totally split her hoof uh, in half. Uh, so it's quite a break and there's nothing we can do with that uh, hoof but let it grow out and heal. It's not infected or anything like that. We did make sure that uh, it's a healthy foot, but it is cracked. And yeah, if you cracked your nail, it would be sore too. Hi, it's evening now and I was really busy today. I had to get last minute stuff done for the show and um, for us going away to the show that is. And I realized I won't be posting too many more videos. Probably one tomorrow and that'll be it for a few days. So I'm running off to the barn to see if there's anything interesting out there. It's, it was supposed to clear up today and I was supposed to get a video then. But as you can probably see, it's quite uh, rainy still and foggy. I'll switch it. You can barely see our woods back there because it's kind of foggy. It's misting right now, but you can see we're back to the mud and muck right now. And we are glad of it because, like I said, uh, we're supposed to have two weeks for sure of no rain whatsoever. 
and that's never a good thing. We got the nighttime chores. They're a little upset because they can't go out tonight. The white culprit. Oh, and Arnie felt that I outdid him the other day. Arnie thought I outdid him the other day because I got all those white sheep separated all by myself. So today I had to go get some more tests done and uh, while I was gone, he separated the sheep out, the, the rest of the white ones. But there is one he couldn't catch her. And she's still in here. You can feed him and we'll try find her. So he didn't get them all. Hey girls. Look at those faces. more upset tonight because it was raining most of the day and they won't go out if it we did have the gates open and stuff but they didn't go out so now they're feeling hard done by I swear we never fed our sheep Oh, somewhere in, ah, there she is and she's just a little one. You couldn't catch that little one? Grab her right there. We got her. She's a little squirrely one and she's gotta be the smallest one in the group. Come on, you got to <laughs> The door's open. There. She's with her buddies. <laughs> that was fun. This is the group she belongs with. For some reason, Ernie had a hard time catching her. <laughs> She's just kind of wild. But now we're in this barn. Um, we were gonna stop and have, say hello to a monster. Cause someone was asking about monster. These are the young ram lambs, and the ones with the green, really fresh green mark on the back are the two that are sold. So this guy and the guy up here, those are the ones that got sold to Ryan the other day. Oh, and this guy here is my triplet. He's always so happy. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? I don't know. That ram got to stay because he is the happiest creature I've ever seen. Like, right now you saw him kind of hopping around, but often when I come in here in the morning, he'll see me and he does that. He comes running all skippy and jumpy. Just, just a happy fella. It's still a little dark even with the lights on because um, two of them are broken. We've been trying to get them fixed. But these days, things like that are not easier said than done. Let's put it that way. Anyway, Kevin's not here anymore. We sold Kevin. If you look at this line of sheep here, one's a little taller than the others. See that? That's Monster. 
Monster. Monster. Hey, buddy, can we see your face? To prove it's you? Yeah, his head is so stuffed in there. This guy, this guy's as big as monster. He's my happy fella. Hi, you're just too happy. You're the happiest of the happies. Oh, yes, you are. You're so happy all the time, all the time. Yeah, yeah, you are. Let's see if I can get Monster out of here. Monster, Monster, Monster. Well, there's a reason he's a monster. He eats. Hey, hi. How you doing, bud? Hi. We were trying to see ya. <laughs> That's his hello and him saying, yeah, I've seen ya. Now I want to get back to eating. But uh, we'll have a chat with Monster some other time. Anyway, the all the white sheep are out of the dry ewe barn now. Um, we've got, I think I only got 25 out in this group, and I got 35 out in the main barn the other day. So, um, probably when we get back from the show, we're going to record everybody, get their um, tag numbers written down, and we're going to put a ram in with them, with each group and see if they, we can get them to breed a little before the all the suffics come in so um, the lambing is spaced out a little bit more for us. So I'll shut off the lights in this barn now and see the main lights up above went off but uh, we have a string of these Christmas lights that stay on all night long so that there's always a little bit of light in the barns so uh, if there's noises or anything going on at night, they can see enough that they don't get frightened. So now that we got that last white ewe, we're going to finish feeding off these suffics. This is all a suffolk barn now. And like I said in my previous video, now um, they can be fed according to their breed, which is slightly different. They have slightly different needs, and they should do a lot better this way. These are pretty well all suffix in here. Just a few Dorset rams at the very back that are keepers. And these are the huge Suffolk lambs don't look like lambs anymore. You guys, you guys. One thing about Suffolk, they do love to eat. People say it as a bad thing though. Um, I see it as a healthy thing. Healthy sheep that want to grow and thrive and do well. Oh, we got a ram fight back there. Ram battles back there. Did you feed them yet? Did you feed them yet? Uh, that's why you see the rams are all excited because they haven't had their food yet and part of the excitement with the rams is they got a buck and fight and stuff like that oh and here's a little caboodle not caboodle kit hi kitty hi hi here's caboodle hi buddy cat uh has pretty well become independent she she comes up every now and then Hi. Hi. 
But um, Caboodle and Kit are the, the big babies of that uh, little grouping. Yeah. Hi, Caboodle. Oh, you are a sweetheart, too. And little Kitty. We know that you're a sweetheart. Both of you guys. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. Hi, there's Cat. Hey, you're a little more independent. Still friendly. Just a little more independent. You're very needy. And Caboodle, you're very needy too. But that's okay. That's okay. We like it when you're needy. Yeah. You guys are nice. Yeah. You're very nice. Oh, you are a big baby. You are a big boy. Hey? Big boy. Big boy. Yeah, you're a big boy. Go eat your food, honey. Yeah. Let's say hi. Yeah. You're such a baby kit. You're such a good girl, though. Yes, you're a good girl. That little lamb back there, that's the young guy. The last one born. He's a character too. He's looking over the gate at the rams. Wondering what he can get into. Look at that little lamb. He, he, he's looking at what, at his uh, heroes. He says, I'm gonna look like you one day. So, these barns are all done. The rain is still misting down, but it's easing off. And we're gonna ease off now too, back to the house. So Arnie's heading off to feed one more bale at the back of the barn. So I hope you guys will join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.